Hey, this is Dan from The Verge, and we're taking a look at the new ZTE Axon M, which is a pretty standard smartphone. It's a 5.2 inch Full HD display. It's running a Qualcomm Snapdragon 821 processor, four gigs of RAM, it's got a 20 megapixel camera. All of that stuff is pretty standard, but what makes the Axon M unique is that this doesn't have just one display, it actually has two. And you can see this big hinge here, opens up and boom, it's now a tool screen phone. So this has got two 5.2 inch displays, which you can do some pretty interesting things with. You can hit the M button here and you can do a mirrored mode like I'm doing now. So anything I do on the one screen is going to be reflected on the second screen, which you can use for a couple of different things. Uh, you can tent it like so and put it between two people to watch the same video or play a game or share a presentation or something like that. Uh, another mode is an obvious one is the extended mode, which just basically stretches the screen over. So if you are wanting to make full use of the screen, you can run an app across both of them. You can rotate it and use it in this mode for watching video. If you're on YouTube, you can then watch a video and scroll through the comment section below. It's all pretty cool. And then that can rotate as well. And then the other mode, is uh, a, an AB mode that is labeled here in the software. And essentially you can run two apps at the same time. So if you've got your uh, phone app open and you've got your Facebook app open at the same time, these are both kind of using Android's split screen functions to be able to run more than one app at the same time. You can then do certain things with um, special apps. So like this is Google Slides, which if you are looking at a presentation here, you can use a gesture to push it over to the other screen and then continue to open, essentially running two instances at the same time. The ZTE says this works with a lot of apps, mainly from Google, that allow you to do this kind of thing and they plan to add more gestures and functionality to move text and objects between two different apps here. But it's the kind of thing that lets you take better advantage of Android's built-in split screen functions that we've seen on other phones where it kind of just divides the screen in half. Now that you've got two screens, you got twice as much space to work with. Uh, if you're in the uh, stretched out mode here, apps will use by default their tablet interface. So you get a little bit more screen space. You can uh, scroll through uh, various things and, and see them a little, uh, see more information about them better on a larger display than you might if it's just on one screen, which is pretty standard. And, and ZTE says this just uses, allows apps to use their tablet interface. There's really nothing that a developer has to do. Uh, ZTE is offering some tools for developers uh, once this launches to be able to optimize their apps and be able to use the gestures to swipe different things. Um, but right now, most apps will run just fine on these two screens, just like they would on one. One of the more interesting things that you can do is run two videos at the same time. So if you're watching uh, a video on YouTube, let's pull that back up. And then over here, we'll say, open up something on DirecTV. You can actually stream two things at the same time. It'll keep streaming both videos in the background. So even if you have audio playing out of one, the other one will continue going. So, and then you can switch between them on the fly. So if you're watching two sports games at the same time and you want to come up with two different games, you can do that right here on your phone, which is pretty neat. And you can do that anywhere you have a signal, basically. You don't necessarily have to be at home to be watching more than one game at once, which is pretty cool. Uh, one of the other unique things is using the camera on this. Obviously, since it has a screen on both sides, it doesn't have room to mount a camera on the back of the phone. So the, the uh, Axon M has a single 20 megapixel camera. And when you launch it, uh, by default, it will show you the uh, selfie mode in this mode. And if you switch the camera around, it basically tells you to flip the whole phone over to use it like you would a standard camera. So as you flip the phone over, you switch between selfie and uh, rear camera modes. And then it's a basically a 20 megapixel camera similar to what you might find on other Axon uh, phones. This is the first product in this lineup from ZTE and the company says that it's going to be a platform going forward. It's not uh, designed to replace their other phones. The Axon lineup is still going to exist with the single screen, but this Axon M is, is kind of the first of its dual screen efforts and it's going to have more in the future uh, and be able to do more things with it as uh, time goes on and as more development comes. We expect this to launch on AT&T here in the US before the end of this year. It's also going to be coming to Docomo in Japan uh, before the end of this year. And then it's also planned to be launched in Europe and other parts of Asia in next year's timeframe. Uh, we don't have an exact price yet, 
but you can probably expect it to be about a premium price phone considering its specs and performance. So there you go, that's a real quick look at the ZTE Axon M. For more on this, be sure to check out TheVerge.com and of course subscribe at youtube.com slash TheVerge.